Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Monday, June 12th, 2023. And we begin with an amazing, likely history-making tale of sibling survival. 40 days after their plane went down in the jungles of Colombia in South America, four brothers and sisters between the age of 1 and 13 were found alone but alive and well. And for that, they give much of the credit to their indigenous grandma, who taught the oldest of the kids, a girl named Leslie, to fish, hunt, and find safe food in the wild. Hundreds of people have been searching for the family, but it was a pair of pups named Tellius and Wilson who finally sniffed them out. All four kids will spend a few weeks in the hospital to recover, but they're in good enough shape and spirits to receive visitors, including friends, family, and the country's president. Dr. Deep Sea is back above water for the first time in 100 days. Joseph Turi broke the surface of a lagoon in Key Largo, Florida Friday, three months after he descended to the bottom to live in Jules Undersea Lodge, the only underwater hotel in the United States. His mission? To drum up interest in science and to study how compression affects the human body. One impact was immediately obvious. He's an inch shorter than he was before his experiment began. In a news release, the diving doctor wrote, The human body has never been underwater that long. And my greatest hope is that I've inspired a new generation of explorers and researchers to push past all boundaries. Despite the dubious distinction of being the only former U.S. president to ever face federal charges, Mr. Trump is not throwing in the towel on his bid for a second term in office. Over the weekend, he defiantly hit the campaign trail, telling supporters he's innocent and will stay in the 2024 race, even if convicted. The former president faces 37 counts related to classified documents he allegedly took with him when he left the White House. He's due in court tomorrow in Miami, where the charges against him will be read. At least for now, Novak Djokovic is the titan of men's tennis. On Sunday, for the 23rd time in his career, he won a grand slam by beating Casper Ruud in straight sets at the French Open. Until that victory, he shared the grand slam high watermark with Rafael Nadal, who had to skip this tournament because of a hip injury. Novak's 23 grand slams are now the most among men ties him with Serena Williams on the women's side, and puts him one behind the all-time record holder, Margaret Court, who has 24. Remember the teenage shark attack victim we told you about a few weeks ago? The one super proud to show off her stitches and brave enough to return to the beach the very next day? Ella Reed of Fort Pierce, Florida, is now doubling down. The 13-year-old aspiring marine biologist jumped at an invitation to tag sharks. We thought that maybe that first interaction wasn't quite the best, Nova Southeastern University researcher Derek Burkholt told the Today Show. We wanted her second interaction with a shark to be a much more positive one. And to be clear, Ella didn't just sit on a boat and watch. She jumped in, splashed around, and even touched the nurse sharks and a giant tiger shark that swam by. Ella's only a rising eighth grader, but Nova Southeastern followed up the tagging expedition by offering her a full-ride scholarship when she's done with high school. In other Kid News notes, the debut of Transformers Rise of the Beasts was more than Spider-Man could handle. The Autobots finished number one at the box office in the U.S. on its opening weekend, knocking Across the Spider-Verse into second. Disney took the next three moneymakers with Little Mermaid, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and The Boogeyman, rounding out the top five. That's it for Kid News. Now, today's Kid News Quiz. Four kids were found after how many days alone in the Colombian jungle? Forty. When is former President Trump due in court to answer federal charges related to his handling of classified documents? Tomorrow. Novak Djokovic's weekend win at the French Open makes him king of men's tennis with how many Grand Slam victories? Twenty-three. Which movie was number one at the box office this weekend? Transformers Rise of the Beasts. 
A quick programming note, this is our last week of regular Kid News episodes before we take our summer break. But because we don't want all your fine-tuned news neurons getting rusty, we'll be posting a Kid News classic story and matching Noodler challenge question each weekday. You'll be able to find them on our website and wherever you get your podcasts starting next Monday. And if that's not exciting enough... We are proud to announce that Kid News has joined the Starglow Media family. Starglow Media is a new podcast network devoted entirely to kids and family content. It's going to be great for our listeners and great for Kid News. We'll share more details all week long. And in today's Kid News Kicker, giant rubber ducks have returned to Hong Kong's harbor. Each duck stands, or in this case floats, six stories tall and is part of a tradition by a Dutch creator who brings the pop-up art installation to different cities around the world every few years. The Ducks have so far been to Paris, France, Osaka, Japan, Sydney, Australia, and Sao Paulo, Brazil. Usually, there's just one duck, but this year the artist wanted to double up. He wasn't counting on the Hong Kong heat, though. CNN reports that on Saturday, organizers decided to deflate one duck after noticing its surface had stretched in the sizzling temperatures. It'll be sent for repairs while its duck friend remains in the harbor. As the artist said, double duck is double luck. The work is meant to emphasize friendship and getting connected. That's it for Kid News. Thanks for listening. Please rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning. <laughs>